Good morning. 1 Peter 2, verses 19 and 20. Let's read verse 18 for context. Servants, be subject to your masters with all respect, not only to the good and gentle, but also to the unjust. For this is a gracious thing, when, mindful of God, one endures sorrows while suffering unjustly. Verse 20. For what credit is it if, when you sin, you are beaten for it, you endure? But if when you do good and suffer for it, you endure, this is a gracious thing in the sight of God. So I want to focus on the bookends here. This is a gracious thing. This is a gracious thing. What's a gracious thing? If you are enduring suffering for doing something good, uh, that kind of unjust suffering, not suffering that's a result of something sinful that's taken place or you get a consequence because you disobeyed or you get a consequence because you stepped out of line and you call that suffering. But no, you've done what's right. You've done what's just. You've acted in holiness and yet you're suffering. And you do it with a good attitude. You, you do it uh, mindful of God. You, you endure unjust suffering and you keep your testimony. He says, that's a gracious thing. Charis, charis. In other words, when we think about the idea of grace, we learn as we study it that it's about God's power at work in your life in a variety of ways. Sometimes to forgive you of sin, sometimes to enable you for ministry, sometimes here to help you persevere. It's a gracious thing. So, so here's the thought for the day. You could not endure unjust suffering by yourself. You couldn't make it. You would need God in your life and His power to make it possible for you to endure unjust suffering. So when we read a text like this, please understand, it's not by the force of your will, you've got to figure out how you're going to endure unjust suffering. Instead, it's by the grace of God, you'll be able to endure unjust suffering by the grace of God. So you lean into the power of God if you're in a difficult circumstance. You lean into the power of God if you're finding it difficult for you to endure the circumstances around you with the recognition that with God, that's very possible. His grace is available to you. May the Lord bless you today.